morning, boys and girls. My name is Johnny, and I am your host today. Mr. Zorik asked me to cover for him, and I am so excited to be here. Kids Connection is a place where we learn how to connect with each other and with God. If this is your first time, we want to welcome you and invite you to come back each and every Sabbath for a new program. And if this is your first time, welcome, welcome, welcome. Today, I'm going to invite you to sing our song of the day with us. And our song of the day is, God is for me. Let's sing it together. And I'm going to call my friend Paul to sing it with us. for singing a song with me, Paul. You're welcome. I love singing this song here at Kids Connection. Yes, yes, me too. Now, Paul, and boys and girls, I'm going to invite you to please bow your heads so we can talk to Jesus. Dear Jesus, thank you so much for this Kids Connection program. We invite you to be with us today. Be with all the boys and girls, moms, dads, uncles, grandmas, grandpas, we ask that you keep everyone safe at home. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Paul. Yes, Johnny. Do you know what a dormitory is? Dormy what? Dormitory. No, I don't know. Boys and girls, do you know what a dormitory is? Well, a dormitory is a place where kids sleep in a school or a facility. So our mission story today, it comes from a girl. It's a story about a girl named Anchao and she lives in a dormitory in school. She is learning a lot more than just her school work. Let's watch our missionary story today.
when Anshal was eight. She left her small village and arrived at Varanasi Seventh-day Adventist School. She had no friends, she didn't respect the teachers, and she knew nothing about Jesus. Anshal moved into the dormitory and quickly began making friends. The dorm is a social place where students play games, relax, and do schoolwork. Many of the students spend time reading their Bibles. This was a totally different world to Anshel's previous life in the village, but she found herself enjoying Bible studies and trying to get good grades. Eventually, Anshel gave her heart to Jesus and is so grateful for her experience at the school. Really, God has blessed me so much that I learned so many stories and so many um, activities in this church, and I like them so much. And I, my favorite story is um, Job. Like Anshel, many students come to this school knowing nothing about Jesus, but their lives are transformed. They are immersed in a holistic learning experience. In addition to the standard subjects, Students learn about health, engage in fun activities, and enjoy delicious meals. Each Sabbath, students attend the Adventist House of Prayer, located right on campus. They often participate in the Sabbath program. Anshel and her friends love to sing for the congregation. We are having these children from the village area and they are learning Jesus and they know that this is all blessing coming in the name of Jesus to them and to their families. So that's how the message of love and Jesus is going to the rural area from this small school. God has blessed this school with more and more students each year, but unfortunately the dormitories are over full. The girls are crammed into a small space with bunk beds piled up against each other. This quarter, a portion of your 13th Sabbath offering will help expand the girls' dormitory, allowing more girls to attend school. Present, we have only one room and we have 25 girls here. But then when the dorms are there, we will have around 60 girls in the dormitories. We will have just the double or triple of the girls studying in this. In this way, we'll be educating more students in our school. Please pray for Varanasi Seventh-day Adventist School. Pray that the teachers and students can continue to be a positive light for each other, like they were to Anshel. Please consider what you can do to help the girls at this school. Thank you for supporting projects such as this. Thank you for supporting Mission Offering. Well, Johnny, I didn't know that kids sleep in this school. Yes, yes, Paul. Kids sleep there and they learn about Jesus. But we can help them with our offerings. So boys and girls, don't forget to ask mom and dad to click on the donation just above and donate to the missionaries. You can also donate to our program Kids Connection. I will do that, Johnny. Yes. Me too, Paul. Oh. Where is Mr. Zorik? Oh, he couldn't be here today, so he asked me to cover. And I am so happy to be here today. And the crowd goes wild. <laughs> yes, yes, so excited. You know, Johnny, I'm excited too. Well, thanks for joining me, Paul. By the way, how was your week? My week was fun. You know, I heard a story from a friend of mine at school. His name is Peter. Oh, yes, yes. I know Peter. Yeah, you know what Peter said? What? Peter said that he went camping. Whoa, I love camping. What did he do? Well, he went camping and he climbed the tree. And he said that the tree was so high, he could almost touch the sky. Wow, oh, that is a tall tree. Yeah, yeah, but that wasn't all. Really? He said that he jumped from the top of the tree and he jumped inside of the lake and he didn't get hurt. 
Wow! That is fun! Yeah, but I'm not sure if he's saying the truth. It's probably true! You know, that adventure is nothing compared to what happened with me! Really? Yes, really! So, let me tell you my story! And you're gonna tell me if this is exciting! Mm, okay, what happened to you, Johnny? Well, Paul, see, I went to the zoo! You know, LA Zoo! Have you kids gone to LA Zoo? Have you gone to LA Zoo, Paul? Yes, I've been there. Well, me too! But, here is where my adventure starts! Mmm, tell me. Well, after seeing all the animals, I saw the giraffe, the chimps, the monkeys, the gorillas, I saw the tiger! What, Johnny? I got to the lion cage! Oh, yes, I know where the lion cage is. Yes, but let me tell you what happened. When I got there, I saw people running, running and screaming for their lives, and they were all running. Ah, 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 and I rushed to see what was going on. Do you know what happened? No, I don't know. Tell me, Johnny. The lion got out of his exhibit! What? Yes! Yes, Paul! The lion got out and the lion was chasing everyone! But do you know what, Paul? I was there and I was able to chase the lion and the lion was, was running from me and the lion was running from one side to the other and I was chasing the lion like a lion hunter and I was chasing and jumping over rocks and I was jumping over people and I say, lion, I'm gonna get you and I'm gonna put you back on your cage and the lion saw me coming and he ran and he ran and he ran and I continued to run and I was almost and the lion was almost out of the zoo and when I finally jumped and I caught the lion by the neck whoa Johnny yes 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 I caught the lion by the neck hmm Johnny Yes, wait, 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 but that's not all. That's just the beginning of the adventure. When I caught him by the neck, I dragged him all the way inside where his exhibit was. I put him in there and I closed the door. Whoa, Johnny. Wait, wait, wait. After that, everybody was asking for my autograph because I was the Lion Hunter! Yes, yes, yes! <laughs> Johnny? Yes, Bo? You know, I think Peter's story was kind of a lie. Really? Yes, and you know, Johnny. What, Paul? Jesus doesn't like when we lie. Well, but, but, you know, my adventure was fun because I was a lion hunter! Johnny? Yes, Paul? Are you sure your story is what really happened? Well, uh, kind of. Boys and girls, do you think that was what really happened with Johnny? Johnny? 
Jesus doesn't like when we lie. Well, Paul, you know, maybe I exaggerated a little bit. A little bit, Tony? Okay, okay, maybe a... a Johnny? Yes? Why don't you tell the boys and girls what really happened? But, you know, I was the lion hunter! Johnny! Okay, okay, I'll, I'll tell the truth. You know, I got to the LA Zoo. And I got really close to the lion cage. And the lion roared so loud, so loud. And I was scared. <laughs> I was scared and I was crying. I didn't want anybody to see me crying. But. Johnny, why did you say that you were the lion hunter? Because it was fun! I thought that you would like me more because the story was excited! I saw how happy you were with the story of Peter! And I wanted my story to be excited too! Wow! Johnny, you know, just because other people are telling lies, it doesn't mean that we have to lie too. Jesus wants us to have integrity. Integrity is when we stand by the truth. So, it doesn't mean that you like Peter more than me? No, Johnny. I like you because you're my friend, not because you tell lies or because you have adventures. You know, boys and girls, in the Bible today, in the story, we are going to learn of a man in the Bible who had integrity. Oh yes, yes, I heard Mr. Zorik say that today we're going to learn about Noah, and Noah was a man of integrity. That's right, Johnny. Noah was a man of integrity. And despite that all the people around him were doing bad things, he was a man of integrity. And he did the right thing, even though the ones around him didn't. Oh, that's why we are singing the song, God is for me, because even though all the people around us in this world are doing wrong things, we can always count on God to be right next to us. That's right, Johnny. How about we sing the song again, God is for me. Boys and girls, let's sing the song, God is for me again. Okay, okay, let's sing the song now.
My name is Johnny and I loved being your host today. I also want to take this opportunity to thank everyone for watching and being a part of our program. Oh, by the way, Mr. Sorry forgot to say last week, but last week we had two birthdays. Yes, it was Natalie's birthday. So Natalie, happy birthday. It was also Ellis, happy birthday, Ellis. I love you and we all here, we all love you here from Kids Connection. Parents, this afternoon it's Parents Connection on Zoom, so don't forget to log in. Oh, by the way, one more thing. Today we have our early teens classroom. Yes, early teens. And teacher James is going to be teaching the classroom this afternoon or right now for Kids Connection. So if you have a teenager brother or sister, Tell them to look for the Teens for Christ and join the classroom today. Thank you so much, Mr. James, or, uh, <coughs> well, Mr. Hearn. He also, he goes by James. I love his classroom, so join us. And kids, I am so excited to tell you something new. Well, the teachers from Kids Connection are talking, and we are going to have our first Kids Connection live on Zoom! Yes! So put it on your calendar and join us. Zoom live at 9 o'clock for Kids Connection. Thank you so much for joining us. Stick around to watch your teacher's classroom right now. Until next week, my name is Johnny and the crowd goes wild. <sighs> goodbye kids, goodbye! See you around. Bye bye. Thank you for joining. Bye 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 bye. Just kidding. This lion is our friend. He is our friend here, at Kids Connection. Good lion! Rawr. Hello everybody! Welcome to the Sabbath School lesson for October 10th. I got my helpful assistance as always. We have... Hi, 
I'm Charlena. And? Hi, I'm Sunny. Thank you. Have a seat. So this week, we're going to continue the lessons on integrity. So last week, um, there was a lesson for, about Enoch and telling the truth and being having integrity. And we're going to continue with that. But first, let's, de let's define integrity. What is integrity? Can you guys help me, Carlina or Sammy? Carlina? Telling the truth, being truthful. Telling the truth, being truthful. What about you, Sammy? Doing the right thing. Yeah, both of those. So, having integrity is doing the right thing in any situation. So, and having a positive character in any situation, meaning that you're uh, honest, you tell the truth, um, you help somebody that needs help in any situation. No matter what it is, no excuses. And for that, this this week, we're gonna talk about Noah. And so let's read the Bible text for this week. It's found in Hebrews eleven seven, and it says, "By faith, Noah built a ship in the middle of dry land. He was warned about something he couldn't see." and acted on what he was told. The result, his family was saved. His act of faith drew a sharp line between the evil of understanding the world and the righteousness of believing of the believing world. As a result, Noah became intimate with God. So, at the beginning of the story, when Noah called, I mean, sorry, when God called Noah, the world was a mess. Even God said so. He said, he, God said that there was evil everywhere. Other than who? Who was the only righteous person? No. Noah and his family. Yeah. Right. And that's why he chose them to build. God chose them to build the ark. So imagine that for a moment. That part of the story. Noah and his family are the only ones doing the right things. You know, they're not stealing. They're not um, hurting other people. They're being helpful to others. And they always tell the truth. And everybody else, they're not doing it. It must be difficult. But Noah had such a belief in God. We, we, we read in the text, he has such faith in God that it became easy for him. He, he just did it out of nature. He, he knew that it was the right thing to do. So, why do, why do you guys think it's, it's difficult to have integrity? Because you're the only ones around who believe in the real true God. Yeah, that's one way. Um, it's hard to believe in God. It's something that we can't s see or express it to other people. And, and when everybody else around you doesn't believe, everybody thinks that it's not true. Um, and being happy of what you have? That's another way. Yeah, that's right. So let's finish the example of um, being the only ones that around that believe in God, right? So maybe there's people that say that, you know, that they uh, believe in God, but they don't really know what they believe. And there's some people that um, don't believe at all. So it, it's, it's, a di um, it's a difficult to be the one that said, yes, I believe in God. But that's what the people in the Bible, that's what the characters in the Bible, and especially Noah in this time, he did. He believed in God even before he was called. 
to do the ark. And when he was called to do the ark, he took a long time building the ark, and he still believed. And, and what did people do? They just laughed at him. They said, ha ha, you old fool. And that's right. They made fun of him. That's, they, that's... they said, they said, ha ha, there won't be anything that for you to sail in. Ha ha. That's right. They're like, rain, what's that? And they were laughing at him. And what did he do? He did, he, kept did, on building. did he did he start getting mad at God? He just kept on building. And he kept on doing it. Why? He ignored them. Why? Because he he knew what he believed in. He had a foundation in his beliefs. He knew exactly um, what he was believing, and he had proof of it because he had looked at it. Right? We all. Uh, see or have the blessings of God, right? And we can see them. But sometimes if we're so busy, like running around and uh, and actually not having integrity and maybe like stealing or lying and, and being angry, then we don't see the blessings of God. We always see ourselves. We only see um, our, our human bodies and the way we are and how do I look? And we forget about God. And with that, it makes it makes it difficult to know that there is a God that blesses us. So that's why it's important to have this relationship with God, to know that He gives you everything, that He provides everything, and that He will help you out even if people are laughing, just like it happened to Noah. And so, God calls us to, to please God, I mean, to put God first instead of men. So, if people laugh, we shouldn't worry about that. We should worry about that we have this connection with God, that we believe in Him, that He is, he is in our heart. And ultimately, we're going to live better lives because we have God as part of us, right? So what, what happened to Noah? What was the result of his integrity? He was safe. Right, so he was in the ark, right? And all these animals, imagine, all, like right now, just, let's just imagine like we have in our house, you're in your house, and then all these animals start coming. and from all over the world. Imagine if your stuffed animals came alive. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that would be super funny. Yeah. So that's like a big miracle in itself. And they're coming. And then it starts raining. And what happens? He gets saved. And the, the ark saved them because through the power of God. And he was saved. And he was basically chosen to start the world over because he believed and also so that that's like a tangible reward but also like a like things that are sometimes we forget about is that noah he, you know he was happy because because he knew he had you know faith always gives you happiness believing in god always gives you happiness happiness he also had a he, he also had a clear mind. Usually, you know, when people do things that are wrong, when you know when they steal or when they lie or when they hurt other people, there's usually something in, within them that keeps bugging them, and so they're not happy. They're angry or they're they're um, frustrated. But Noah, he must have been a happy person. Just being super content with all of, the, of God's blessings. So, what do we learn? I, if, if we have this integrity and this connection with God, we will be just like Noah. And he, God will bless us and we'll be, think great things will happen to us just like it happened to Noah and we'll also ha live ha happy lives. Next, we were going to do our craft. 
Okay, so for our craft today, please, for additional help, go to YouTube, Noah's Art Craft, and it's by The Crafty Classroom. So basically what we're gonna do, it's what's shown on the screen. And for that, you will need some construction paper and some markers and some drawing items and also something round. So we're gonna use our bowl, right? So that you can trace a circle so that you can, in one half, you'll do the arc and then the other half, you're gonna do the rain on one side and then the rainbow on another. So the detailed instructions are in the, in the YouTube video and we'll come back and show you how ours look like. This is how our craft turned out. So Can you tell us a little bit about it, Carlina? So it's the 40 days and 40 nights of nothing, with nothing but rain. And then it sways. In the ocean. And then it, the rain transforms into the beautiful rainbow as it promised to never flood the earth again. Yay, you want to show yours, Sammy? <laughs> uh, this one, this one does the same thing. Good job. So remember, God is faithful and he wants us to be, ha have integrity and be faithful to him also. As an extra learning activity, I invite you to go to YouTube and type Superbook Noah and you will learn about the story of Noah and it's actually a really good episode because it ties exactly with the lesson and, and, and having integrity. Bye bye! Hi. Thank you for joining bye. us. But first bye. let's pray. Dear God, thank you for all the blessings that you give us and help us to be like Noah and help us to know you. Amen. Thank you again. We'll Bye. see you next time.